most of the times when you see videos that we put together on perfect effects, uh, you see us apply effects onto the image and maybe mask out a little portion of it or just keep the effects applied to the whole image. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use textures combined with a masking bug to create your own custom vignettes. So I have this image here and I wanna apply a, just a cool kind of textured uh, border, but I want it to concentrate more along the top of the image and not so much uh, around the part here where the sun is beautifully radiating onto the clouds. I'm gonna to go to the textures category and I'm gonna scroll all the way down to one of my absolute favorite textures here called uh, Rice Paper Light. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna do is scale it out using the scale slider so that that dark border uh, gets stretched beyond the frame. Now to increase the presence of the texture, I'm gonna change the mode from normal to darker. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna create, like I said, a custom vignette. To do that, I'm gonna select the masking bug and then I'm gonna click in the image. You can see here's the bug. I'm gonna change the shape though from the top in the tool options bar from rectangular to round. Now you can see that with the bug, I can control the shape of my vignette. And normally we think of vignettes as burning or darkening the edges of an image. But here I'm actually using the circular or round masking bug to create a custom vignette for uh, the texture. And so now I have several controls. From here I can control the feather. So at a 0%, you can see how there is no transition. It's a hard edge, but I'm going to keep it at 100%. So it's a very, very soft transition. I can also control the opacity of that mask. So at 100%, you can see that the entire texture is removed from the confines of the round bug. But I'm gonna bring this down just a bit so a little bit of that texture bleeds through over here. And so you can see here that we now have this really cool kind of dynamic vignette. I can go ahead at any time and readjust it if I wanna make it larger or put it over here. Um, it just gives you total control. And remember, you can apply this custom vignette to any texture and really any effect or preset in perfect effects.